Hey, this is Inosh and in this video we are going to talk about canary testing. But first, what is canary? Well, it's a bird. Few decades ago, miners used to carry down a caged canary into the mining tunnels with them. If dangerous gases such as carbon monoxide collected in the mine, the gas used to kill the canary before killing the miners thus providing a warning to exit the tunnel immediately. Let's come now in a software world. So canary testing is powerful tool when it comes to doing continuous integration and continuous deployment because it offers us another layer of testing that we can use to test some things that we may not be able to catch through other types of tests like uh, unit tests, integration tests, even manual tests. We can run this test in a staging environment and use them to provide a very robust testing solution that can give us a lot of confidence in our deployments as they are going out. But all of these methods have one problem and that is that this test never perfectly replicate real world uses of the code. No matter how hard we try to simulate it, so we do a lot of work to make sure our tests are as valid as possible, that they simulate real world situations as closely as possible, but we can never get that perfect. Now, canary testings allow us to test using real world uses. So we can overcome this problem to a certain degree. Canary testing means that we push new code to a small group of users. And usually those users are completely unaware that they are using the new code. This allows us to see how a code performs under real world usage while limiting the impact of any bugs. So here is an example of what canary testing looks like. So when we are not using any testing and we are not making any changes, and the application is just running and users are using it. Here is what it looks like. Our test, our users traffic is coming in and is being balanced across our different nodes that are using the old code. When we get ready to deploy some new code and we want to do a canary test, here is what we do. We spin up additional instances that are known as canary instances and we divert a portion of the traffic to the new code. So the new code and the old code are running side by side and a small portion of our users are actually using the new code. Whether they realize it or not, that allows us to gather data about the performance of the new code within the context of real world usage but only a small percentage of users might be affected by any problem that new code causes. Then once our new code has passed canary testing and it looks good, we then deploy the new code to all our normal instances and all traffic is now hitting that new code. And of course, if the canary test doesn't look good and we don't like how the new code is performing, we just remove those canary instances and continue using the old code. So as you can imagine, canary testing is a very powerful tool when it comes to doing continuous delivery. Netflix, for example, does a lot of automated testing whenever they make changes to their code. They automatically roll out that new code and direct a portion of traffic to it. And they have all kind of automated metrics that are collected about those canary instances to determine whether or not they are performing well. And they have that canary process built right into their CI CD pipeline. So can testing can be a great tool for building confidence in your automation and in your pipeline. Thank you for listening and watching.